It's good to have you join us on the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. The All Progressives Congress, APC, is set to unveil Kashim Shatima, the running mate to its presidential candidate Bola Tinubu, on Wednesday. This is coming five days after the ruling party postponed the unveiling with no reason given for the shift in date. Shatima was meant to have been presented to party members at the APC National Secretariat on July 14th. Bonan an APC official told reporters the event had been postponed. APC National Organizing Secretary Suleiman Argungu has, however, revealed the exercise will take place by 1 p.m. at the Shehu Musayaradwa Center in the nation's capital. And the Oyo State House of Assembly has approved the nomination of Bayo Lawal as the state's deputy governor. Lawmakers in the state gave the approval on Monday afternoon after impeaching Raouf Olanion as the state deputy governor. Olanion was impeached by the lawmakers over allegations of misconduct. At the swearing-in ceremony administered by the chief judge of the state, Justice Mumta Abimbola, the Oyo State Governor Shei Makinde charged the new deputy governor to see his position as a responsibility to deliver good governance to the people of Oyo State. And police operatives in Kaduna State have rearrested another inmate of Kuja Correctional Center who escaped from the facility about two weeks ago. The 60-year-old suspect, Ali Shwaibu, who hails from Kanu State, was apprehended by the police operatives at a location in Kaduna on Sunday while he was in transit to Kanu. The spokesman for the State Police Command, Mohammed Jalige, who confirmed the development in a statement on Monday, said the rearrest of the suspect followed a directive by the State's Command. Mission of Police Yakini Ayoko to all tactical commanders and divisional police officers in the state. And out to COVID-19 stories, more than 2,000 tourists have become stranded in a resort town in southern China after authorities imposed a snap lockdown to curb a coronavirus flare-up. As the country's stringent zero-COVID policy continues to upend businesses and daily life, the city of Beihai, a holiday destination, has reported more than 500 infections over the past week. A major outbreak by China's standards resulting in the government shutting down urban parts of the city where its resorts and tourist attractions are located. And now in business, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, has announced the upward review of the pump price of PMS, also known as Petrol, to 169 naira per litre from the previous price of 165 naira per litre. The statement further explained the price review will be dependent on each zone of the country, while Southwest, South South, and North Central will sell at 179 naira per litre, Northwest and Southeast will sell petrol at 100. 84 naira per litre. Also, the northeast zone is expected to sell for 189 naira per litre and Lagos for 169 naira per litre. And at least eight people have been killed when suspected jihadists attacked a village in northern Burkina Faso during the weekend. According to security sources, a village called Guisigori was targeted on Sunday when the assailants looted the village and made off with cattle. In Burkina Faso, thousands of civilians, troops and police have been killed and an estimated 1.9 million people have fled their homes. At our sports, Morocco have reached the final of the 2022 Women's Africa Cup of Nations on Monday after defeating Nigeria on penalties. The Super Falcons of Nigeria failed to earn a 10 final match appearance after falling 4 5 on penalty kicks. Morocco will now play South Africa, who edged Zambia in the order last four clash in the final. Well, that's the latest from the newsroom. Do join us in the next hour for more. Thank you for watching.